Today, I had the thrill of visiting Triumph, Canada's National Laboratory of Particle Physics, that was built in 1968, initially for four universities, the University of British Columbia, the University of Alberta, the University of Victoria, and Simon Fraser University. It's situated on the campus of UBC, on UBC land, and about 10% of the research carried out uh, at uh, Triumph is uh, UBC uh, collaborations uh, with the national facility. It's an amazing uh, facility. Uh, It uh, does uh, basic particle physics uh, research. It does research on dark matter. It does uh, uh, research on material science. Uh, It's a place where Uh, parts of the Large uh, Hadron uh, Collider uh, that, as you know, uh, was involved in uh, detecting the Higgs boson. Uh, Part of that uh, machinery was actually developed at Triumph, Um, and it has uh, about 695 uh, members of staff. Um, uh, There are international visitors from all over the world uh, that carry out fundamental research at uh, Triumph. It's also a place uh, that's uh, really at the cutting edge of a collaboration with UBC on the creation of uh, novel isotopes that uh, can be used in the treatment of cancer, uh, either by targeting those uh, isotopes uh, to uh, tumor cells uh, via uh, peptides or, um, or monoclonal antibodies, and it's also a place that generates uh, uh, radioisotopes for the treatment of ocular melanoma uh, at the University of British Columbia Hospital. So it's a tremendous facility, uh, and uh, on any given day you'll see faculty members and students and co-op students from UBC buzzing around the facility, and it's a great asset, uh, and we're proud to have it on the UBC campus. And uh, today we met with the leadership of Triumph to think about how uh, we can collaborate even further uh, and perhaps how to integrate it into UBC's new strategic plan. Uh, it was a thrill for me. Uh, many times I felt like I was at, uh, in the set of the movie War Games. We create the nuclear reactions that happen in star explosions and uh, allow us to understand where the elements come from which we are made out of. We, we were literally stardust. Every atom in our body has been through hundreds of thousands of star generations and we are understanding how they have come. Pretty amazing. Thank you so much.